What's going on, y'all? Back with another reaction video today. We have Colin Cowherd, a uh, herd hierarchy. So his top ten teams going into week three. Uh, y'all know how this goes with Colin. You know they uh they copyright. So um try to react to this and try to avoid that. So uh yeah, man, we're gonna do it like this today. Um, let me get my thoughts. Teams in the National Football League on a Tuesday. See, so I bear with me. This time here we go. I hear the babies in the back. Bear with me. Let's see. Number ten. Uh, by the way, there's not much to like about the ten. Rams. The Rams. Their defense. Their third down defense. He got the Rams at ten. Ten, 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 ten. The Rams just. Who did they just play? What they just play? They. I'm trying to think. Is lousy. Uh, they're not. They just played the, the Falcons. They put them at ten. I feel like they. I about to say I feel like they'd be in the top ten, but top five. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what he what he what he talking about. Let's see. Given up the ball six times, tied for the most in the NFL, and they're averaging 58 yards rushing. That's 31st. Why do I like them? Because I trust McVay, Aaron Donald, that defensive front, and Stafford. But right now, Stafford didn't play in the games. He didn't practice much in the preseason, and they are choppy up front, and they're a mess. They're doing things that lose football games. But again, I know my coach is an A, my quarterback's an A, and the defensive front is a real thing, so I think they'll get it figured out. I, th I feel the same way about Cincinnati, uh, but I think the Rams are better than... Well, what, do you, what do you guys say is the, is the biggest issue with the Rams right now? Now, Cincinnati, that's a... That's a I think it's clear to say O-line, but with the Rams, what, what do you, what do you think? Cincinnati. Number nine. The Ravens. Listen, they had a bad fourth quarter. That's the Nine? Give them nine. Biggest blown lead. I don't know. I don't know why it just feels low. I guess I got to see the rest of the team. Maybe I'm overreacting right now. Lead tied for it in franchise history. This is a really good team. They're the only team averaging seven yards a play. That's the best. Not even Kansas City averages that. They're fine. They've only given up one turnover all year. That's tied for the fewest in the league. They do a lot right. They had a terrible quarter because they got a bunch of rookies in the back end. Baltimore is an excellent organization. I probably have them too low. I'll put them at nine. Number eight. Listen, I like Minnesota, and I picked the Eagles last no. night to win. This okay, I'm not taking the Vikings over the Ravens. I don't even know the Rams. Not, nah, 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 nah. He wilding. It was a tough spot. Off a Green Bay divisional rival game and a great performance, Kirk Cousins now is 2-10 and ten on Monday Night Football. Their defense, though, it gets carved up a little bit on the ground. They're giving up six and a half yards of play. That's not good enough. Um, but they do have a lot of sacks. So last year, one of the issues was they gave up big chunks of yardage and had no pressure. So they are getting to the quarterback. They are creating situations of distress for the other quarterback. So I still like them. Vikings eight. Number seven. I don't buy two. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, the Vikings look a little better. But I, I just don't know if I take them ahead of the Ravens, though. Dolphins, I like Dolphins at seven. I like that. Much into the Dolphins. Could, but I, 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 I like this. that. They're number two in total offense. They're a lot like Philadelphia over in the other conferences. They're productive. They're moving the ball. Tyreek Hill right now and Jalen Waddell are the two leading receivers in the league. And they've got an excellent young coach. They, they really are a lot like Philadelphia. Uh, the difference is, I think Jalen Hurts is more dynamic than Tua is. Tua may be a better thrower, but we, we've got to be honest about that. In their last nine starts with Tua, they're 8-1. and one. <laughs> i got to be honest. They win games with Tua. It's not pretty, but they all come in shapes and sizes now at quarterback. They're all different. Some don't have a big arm. Some run more. And right now, they're winning games, and I think they have a brilliant young coach. Number six. Listen, the Niners roster to me is second only to Buffalo in the NFL. Jimmy G came in Sunday, cold, 100 passer rating. Jimmy G is 35. It's and not bad. It's starter, not bad. The, division's mm -hmm. the Niners offense right now has more rushing yards than passing yards because of how they initially started the season. But in the end, they're doing this without... George Kittle and Elijah Mitchell. This is a great roster. They have drafted and developed the offensive side very well. I can't even speak on it. They're being like, I like Elijah Mitchell a lot, but I, I can't really say nothing about without Elijah Mitchell. They, they rotate running back so nicely. Like that third back could be the lead back. And I'd be comfortable with that, you know, on, on any day, it's just like that, you know, the fourth back, you know, it's just how to, how the Niners play. But 
I'm, I'm not too dis not too I don't have too much negative to say about that right side of their offensive line but to me this morning I this feels like a team that could play for the NFC championship I would be the least shocked guy in the world number five let's not beat up on the Chargers for losing to Kansas City they lost two starting offensive linemen including a Pro Bowl center and Keenan Allen hasn't played much this year he is really valuable to their offense on third down Herbert has been unbelievable this year uh, his quarterback rating is 112, and Khalil Mack and Joey Bosa may be the best pass rush in the league right now, not named Buffalo. So I, I don't take much from that. Chargers top five. To at Arrowhead, the difference is I, I got to see who the top four are. And their most valuable wide they look good. So. Playing with crashed up ribs. That was one of the great losses of the year for the Chargers. Number four. Listen, Philadelphia knows what they are. One giveaway all season, easily the number one. I don't think I'm too mad at this list. Only thing I'd probably say is maybe where the Vikings are at. It's arguable, though, but I'm not really too mad at this list. Maybe, like, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really focused on the order. I'm just focused on the teams for the most part that, we're just, that he has in there. I could probably predict who he has the next top three, but I'm not, I'm not too mad at it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Who, who did he snub? If you if you wanted to order it, who would you put in order? You know, wildly productive quarterback who now is a superstar receiver. Folks, they're averaging like 165 yards rushing a game. Nobody's even close to that. So I, I think they're a handful. I think they're hard to prepare for. Um, listen, they were they were productive last year. They were productive in week one. I don't think this is. Uh, I don't think we're overreacting. By the way, it's not going to end. They play the Commanders and the Jaguars next. So as Jason said, their schedule is made for a young team to develop and get confidence. I think Philly's good. I put them at four. Number three. And I put Tampa at three because of Tom Brady. Is that I just think Brady, because of the 11 days off in camp and not playing in the preseason and all the offensive line issues, they are rusty. But... To be honest with you, if you look at how many players have been out of games, the fact they're they need receivers, out, man. On the road against the Saints, they need their receivers they really to, to be healthy as well. They can run the ball, they can throw it. They are just falling apart. I, I, I like the Cole Beasley pickup. I think it's a good pickup. If there's any other solid veteran receivers out there, y'all comment them down below. But I definitely like the Cole Beasley pickup. Got a nice slot guy, um, Julio. Now you you don't have to put him in a slot. Uh, you still got Russell Gage. He could play outside a little bit too. But uh, I, I like Cole. You know, again, he can give you some work one-on-one -on -one and give you some nice work in the slot, too. So, becoming some 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 solid veteran receivers who are out there. Uh, what's his name? Is it, uh, Go is it Golden Tate or is it Doug Baldwin? Which one, which one was it? Is it Tate who just was a who just played last year and now he's a free agent? There's some guys out there. Y'all 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 comment some down below. Some names. Would you trust Garoppolo over Brady or Jalen Hurts over Brady or Stafford today? To Odell, Rangers, I doubt it, but. No receivers over Brady? I wouldn't. That, to me, is the best NFC team, Tampa. Number two. Kansas City. Nothing wrong with the offense. Every stat is great. The O-line's good. The and then Bill's number star, one. I, I can't complain about one and two for sure. Nothing. No problems with Kansas City. But I don't think their defense is good enough to bail them out if Mahomes goes on one of those four or five game mechanical slides where he's not quite right to so the Chiefs at number two. Number one. And I think Buffalo's defense with an offense that may not be quite as slick as Kansas City overall coaching pass rush defense. This defense is good enough to bail out the offense if Josh Allen struggles. I don't think Kansas City's defense is. And that's the difference. They are the ultimate Mike Tyson. They may not always have a great jab, but they'll knock you out if you're not prepared. Uh, they're a blast to watch. Uh, they run in the football. They can. They're corners. You know, here's the other thing. They've had some injuries to overcome. I just don't see a weakness. They're not always, always the most efficient, but their knockout punch is equal to Kansas City with a much better defensive front. And that's why they're number one. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. I got to say, that wasn't a bad list at all, man. So y'all let me know y'all thoughts. Hold on, just wait. Y'all let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section. Appreciate y'all for watching again. Subscribe. Stay tuned. Stay blessed.